The World Cup kicks off in Qatar at the weekend. England and Wales both have teams competing. So we sent Shaniqua there to bring us all the football action over the course of the tournament. Now, amongst all of this excitement, there is some controversy surrounding this event, and I've been finding out why. The 222 FIFA World Cup is Qatar. This is the moment back in 2010 that FIFA awarded the World Cup tournament to Qatar. It was a decision that surprised a lot of people at the time. And as the tournament now gets started, the debate is still raging about whether it was right to hold it in the country. I'm here in Doha, the capital city of Qatar. And as you can see, everything here is big, it's shiny, it's new. There's a lot of money here and billions of pounds have been spent in getting the country ready to host the World Cup. Not to mention the seven brand new stadiums that will host footballers from all around the world and millions of fans too. But football isn't the only thing that people are talking about. These impressive stadiums came at a cost. To build them, Qatar needed lots of workers and most people working on the constructions have traveled from other countries to be here. Around 30,000 people came here as migrant workers and the treatment of those workers has been criticized. Human rights organizations such as Amnesty International say employees faced difficult working conditions and very little pay. It's even been reported that thousands of migrant workers have died whilst working in Qatar. The Qatari government disagrees with that, saying that only three deaths of people were from a work-related cause. Fans coming to the World Cup will be hoping to have an amazing time watching the football, but another question is, will all fans be welcomed equally? Qatar is a strictly Muslim country. Many people living here don't have the same freedom as people living in the UK. Women in Qatar are heavily restricted on what they can do and what they can wear. I've been encouraged to dress modestly and to cover my shoulders when I'm out and about in certain areas. It's also illegal to be in a gay relationship in Qatar. The captains of several World Cup teams, including Harry Kane and Gareth Bale, will wear a rainbow One Love armband during the tournament in support of the LGBTQ plus community. Another thing that's got people asking questions is the organizers claim that this will be the first ever carbon neutral World Cup. Big events like this generally produce a lot of pollution due to the building of stadiums, hotels, and all the air travel by teams and fans. Qatar says it plans to reduce World Cup emissions by things like energy efficient stadiums and low emission transportation, such as electric buses. They claim that this will cancel out the same amount of carbon that's been produced. So that's as if the tournament will emit nothing. But critics say the pollution from the World Cup will be much higher than Qatar claims. As the first ever Winter World Cup starts, FIFA has asked people to now focus on the football. But a question for many will be whether the action on the pitch will be a distraction for the big issues of it.